And sometimes it's easier to take this thing off and deal with the drain. Uh, so I usually, I will take it off because sometimes it's just easier to disconnect and connect the drain. This is your air gap anti-siphon. And so basically, if your machine doesn't drain out, it's possible you have some food particles stuck in here. And basically these things will come apart. You can see there's a little tab you can push in and this top will come off. And you can clean that out in there. Okay, so this is what you should do before you work on any appliances. Make sure that you turn the breaker off. Make sure your power is switched off. can also check to make sure it's shut off by checking the connections with a meter to see if you have voltage at the wires.
And so before we tuck it all in, we're going to make sure that we have power here and it seems to be working okay. Okay, well we have power so that's a good indication. Um, next we want to make sure that it's going to take in water. I've had these brand new and not take in water. This is a model number located here on the side. So these are the tabs where the tightening screws go in. Make sure your screws aren't too long. If they're too long, they're going to come out the top. Okay, so after we got the water on, this is a good valve. It's got, there's no leaks leaking out of the valve. I didn't disconnect it here. I only disconnected it down here. And we can see that the valve is not leaking. It's been on for five minutes, no leaks. See that the junction box is connected. Make sure the wires are secure and and wire nutted and make sure the junction box is securely mounted to the frame of the machine. We can do a short test and watch for leaks and we're good to go. Okay, so this one has a little green light here, the red lights. There's two green lights, a red light, the time, and the cycle that it's on indicated it's on the wash cycle. Take a look down here. Don't see any leaks. 